Well, hey everybody, it's Angel. You may recognize this beautiful woman. This is Exploring in My Explorer. And I wanted to invite my dear friend, Nancy Hornback, to join me because some of you may be wondering what she's been up to. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so we're gonna have a little chat and uh, please feel free to share this. And Nancy, tell us, where can we find you on social media? Well, it's very hard. It's Nancy Hornback. Um, it's, I think it's Nancy Hornback 2 for my Facebook page, public page, and the same thing with Insta. Um, and then I'm on LinkedIn as well, so you can find me on LinkedIn. So that's the scoop on that. Okay, great. Like so go, go and follow her because she has some exciting stuff coming up. So I wanted to share it. We wanted to chat. We are, we are very dear friends. Nancy actually really helped me through a, a difficult time I was having in my life. And uh, for that, I'll be forever grateful. And she is a girl's girl, lifts everybody up. Um, if you need something, you call her, she is there. She's an amazing person. And so uh, I just thought having, you know, having this chat would be really great. And we all need women in our lives like that. And women should do that for other women. We need to stop putting people down. No putting down the people. Lifting people up. Gotta lift them up. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, <laughs> so um, I learned something this week. Mm. You have a new member in your family. I do. Okay, so we have um, Max and he's a doggo. So we actually had, um, we fostered this dog. Our, okay, so let me back up for two seconds. So we, I had a foster, uh, adoptive kitties forever. My angel passed away when she was 18 and Mozart passed away um, in April and he was 21. Yes, and I was remember. Very I'm so sad, sorry. Very yes, sad. That's and a long time. Yeah, it was a long time. And then I immediately wanted to get another animal, but I knew I didn't want it to be cats. And I thought, well, because I can't replace my cats. I can yeah. never replace those cats. And um, and I thought a dog. And then I'm glad I, my husband was like, we just need to not do this right now. So I was really glad. And then this fall, my daughter kept saying, I would like to have a dog. And then I, and my husband was him pawing about it. And I, and I wasn't 100% sure because we didn't know if we were doggo people. Anyway, we went to... Um, Mainline Animal Rescue, which is a, a no-kill shelter, which is a really awesome. And I just went to look at a dog. Just to of course, it. just to look. And the lady there says to me, would you like to um, foster a dog? And I said, oh, well, okay. What is, well, sure. I think that's a great way to find it for doggo people. Yeah. And so we've, we fox fostered, um, his name is Rex at the at animal, Mainline Animal Rescue, but we changed him to Max. But anyway, so he was a heartworm dog. He was considered dark, so a lot of heartworms. He came from Alabama. And long story, we fostered him, and then we just adopted him on Valentine's Day. And because we don't know his exact birthday or his exact age, we're going with it. He's, he turned two on Valentine's Day, the day he was adopted. I love it. That's so, perfect. That's what we did with with Finnegan. Oh yeah. That the day that we got him is his birthday. So yeah, Aww. so I, I totally get that. I totally yeah, get that. Yeah, yeah. You have to celebrate. Oh my goodness. And he is, what kind of a dog? He's a black lab mix. And um, we think he's probably pit bull in him as well. Just so you can see some of the angles that he has, but we think there's something else in there too. But he's a medium sized dog. He's he did weigh 45 pounds and now he weighs 52. So we have to go on a diet. Oh boy. <laughs> I better buy a diet. Yes, I understand about that. So, Did you know that they have doggy DNA kits you could get to um, try to figure out what breeds yeah. he he yes. is? Um, I've thought about that with Finnegan. I haven't done that yet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, just put he's that. He's a golden, is he not? He's a golden, but he's definitely a blend somehow. Yeah. Somehow. But uh, just put that, you know, in the back of your I'm noggin gonna, if, do if, that. if you feel like doing that. So uh, tell me... You have just started something really great where you're offering financial advice. I am. It's financial counseling versus advice. Or okay, thank things. you. That's all right. Thank you for clarifying. Of, yeah, no, because yeah, yeah. people think, oh, you're, what are you doing? Financial advice advisor where you're telling people what stocks and bonds to buy and that kind of stuff. No, that's not what I'm doing. So basically, I forever, forever and ever, I have been um, crazy about budgets and living under my means and all of that staying out of debt and helped other people create a budget and help them get out of debt and I've been just doing that forever as a give back and as a ministry and so um, but I didn't know it was a, a thing that you could get a 
actually certification. So, so one of my friends sent me a link to the, the Ramsey, Dave Ramsey financial uh, master coach training. And so I did that and became a financial coach, a certified financial coach. And I love it because I learned so much more. So basically I'm able, so Dave Ramsey has the seven baby steps mm -hmm. and they are save a thousand dollars, next snowball, your way out of debt. The next is getting a fully funded three to six month emergency fund. The next steps are supposed to be done in, or, in order, but at the same time, uh, step number four is saving 15% for retirement. The next step is start to pay off your mortgage or save for a, a, a down payment on a home. Um, the next one is, oh, excuse me, I missed that. <laughs> I guess I'm not as good a financial counselor. I'm so under pressure, I'm under pressure. <laughs> so, sorry, four is 15% of your um, retirement. The next one is save for kids' colleges. Okay. Then the paying off your mortgage thing, and then finally building your wealth and live and give like nobody's business. So that's basically the, the steps. And so what I do is I come in and I'm kind of like a, I'm a, I'm a coach for finances. So if you've ever had a coach for anything, like if you've ever wanted to play an instrument or if you want to get better at yoga or if you want to be a better, I don't know, what what do you what do you want to be better at? Uh, you were talking about training. 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 Like, physical like, training. Yes. Yeah. And so if you're not motivated to do that on your own, it's always good to have a have a coach because mm -hmm. they're passionate about it, right? And so that's really where I come in and I take a look at where somebody is right where they are. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if they have are there are tons and tons of debt and they don't make much money or if there are millions and millions of dollars they have and they just don't know where their money's going so I come find out where you are and what are your hopes and dreams and mm -hmm. where do you want to go and mm -hmm. I provide that roadmap and there's all kinds of different ways we can get there but we take look take a look at it all and it's not just about you first of all get you a plan you yes. want to get you a budget, right? Yes. But then there's so many other things that we think about. That, um, we talk about, do you have a will? Do you have an estate plan? Do yeah. you have your health directors out? Um, what about insurance? Do you have the right insurances? Now, I'm not going to sell you insurance. That's right. not where I come in. But, but I'm going to help you right. navigate okay. that, right? Oh, well, that's um, nice. Because insurance is so confusing. Life insurance, term life insurance, this life, life insurance. insurance, whole life insurance. It's very confusing. Disability insurance. Yeah. And the average Jane doesn't really know mm -hmm. what that all means. Yeah. So that's, that's that was my, really I have to important. say that was my, one of my biggest learnings in going through that, um, the Ramsey financial training, because I learned so much about insurance and it just so happened that Jim and I were just going through of changing our entire estate plan okay. as well as working through the insurance part of it okay. now, because we're just in a different space in life. And I learned so much through it. I was like, dang, that's pretty awesome. So we talk about all that. That is that is awesome. So if you are looking for somebody to help you with that, definitely reach out to Nancy for that purpose. And here's a funny thing. We talked earlier this week and and she called me because she knows somebody and is friends with somebody that I went to college with. So it's really a small, small world. People from different areas of your life that know you or knew somebody or knows your cousin. It's just it's so funny how small this world is. Mm -hmm. And so we're both very passionate about lifting people up and, and uh, you know, just helping people be the best mm -hmm. that they can be for themselves. So, you know, I just want to applaud you for that because you've always been a cheerleader for me. And the same goes, as you all know, for Angel. She is also a huge cheerleader. And also, as much as I've been there for you, you've been there for me and um, let me cry and complain and have a nervous breakdown <laughs> and that is so and, it, and I know how much I appreciate that from you that I never feel like there's a competition or something and I think it, that in itself I'm not sure exactly why I said that but why does there need to be competition between anybody right that's right it, it's silly like, compete with yourself compete with yourself be better today mm -hmm. than you were yesterday that's right Absolutely. For sure. So one of the other things I wanted to ask you, since you're on this new journey mm -hmm. to be the financial coach, give one tip. Mm. I know that's hard because there's so many that you can give, you but ask? give a financial tip. Like for me, I always say to my friends, like I have a friend whose husband always did all of the finances. She mm. didn't know where anything was. She didn't know how much debt they were in. She didn't know how much was in the checking account. She didn't. And I was like, you better fix that. Amen, sister. You better fix it. 
And um, so that is my you, typical, I was single till for a long time. Mm -hmm. I didn't meet my husband till I was 40. I was responsible for my my contracts, for you know my jobs, for my finances. I bought my first house by myself, like all of these things. So for me, I encourage women to make sure that they know what's going on in their financial world and to make sure that they have an emergency fund, something, something, something put away mm -hmm. for an emergency fund. And uh, I even have, you know, somebody in my family who whose spouse kind of got them in trouble. Mm -hmm. And and this had happened to them before with a previous marriage. And I said, how dare you? Mm -hmm. How dare you let this happen again? Mm -hmm. How dare you? Now, that probably wasn't the nicest thing for me to say, but I am very blunt. <laughs> uh, my best friend calls me brutally honest. Um, so, uh, you it's know, ironing, so... It's iron sharpening iron. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. It's not about being cruel and mean. It's about, I want you to be the best because yes. I think the world of you, and if you're allowing these things to happen, whereas this spouse or the, your, your significant other is getting you guys in trouble and getting you in trouble, that's a problem. Like, let's sharpen your iron. Yes. Let's, let's stand up for Let's that. figure this out. Yeah, So sure. So if you could offer one financial tip, and I'm going to focus on women. Yeah, that's like fine. Like for women, mm -hmm. you know, um, what, what would your tip be? Well, I think you hit the nail on the head with know your business. Know... If you're not the one that is doing the finances in your relationship, please go in and find out what's going on because you're going to do what happens if you are having any sort of money fights at all. And usually that is in the, one of the top reasons for people to get divorced is money fights. And so, mm -hmm. and it's because you really don't have a budget. You don't know what's going on. There's no plan and you're just trusting this person. And what if they die and you are left holding the bag? Yes. You have no clue. I don't want that for you. I want you to know what you're doing and where everything is because that empowers you. That makes you stronger. It doesn't mean you have to go in and actually write all the checks and, and check your bank account all the time and do all that kind of stuff. That's fine, but you should have a budget meeting once a month with your significant other. That's really important. That is a good tip. And, and if they don't have, you know, if the other person doesn't want to do it, there's some there's something going on there. Like there's something here that we need to sit down. And, why would you not want to sit down with me? Is it because you think I don't trust you? Mm -hmm. So then there's a little, you see there's, Dave Ramsey talks about how 80% is behavior, 20% is head knowledge when it comes to finances and money. And so do a little digging why your partner doesn't want you to sit down and do a budget meeting and find out. And it may just be, wait a second, I do trust you. That's not it. But honey, what if you die? I'm left, I don't know anything about this yeah. and I, I need to know so I can I can do this or God forbid if you end up in a, uh, a situation where you can't, you're still alive but you can't do any of this anymore and you can't tell me and speak to me how this is gonna mm -hmm. work. Like this is why I want you to do this for yourself and for your spouse and I bet what happens is as you come to that budget meeting and you start getting those finances in order, watch what happens to your relationship. It's gonna get closer and it could possibly not just make your, your marriage better, but if you are on the brink of something with your marriage, it could also simply save your marriage as well. Yeah. So I think it's a really great tip of, of getting to know what's going on. But my second biggest one is get a budget for Pete's sake. That's where I come into. <laughs> if you don't have a budget, please live on a budget. If you're letting your money go wherever it wants to go. No, you need to tell it where it needs to go. Is that fast enough for you? I, I think it's amazing, amazing tips that I need to listen to. Uh, <laughs> with the budget, with the budget. We're but gonna chat about we that. to chat a little bit. So. Uh, that does it for this episode of Exploring My Explorer. One more time, where can we find you? Um, I'll give you my business website too, in case you, you do want any. I do have free discovery s sessions with people, so you can certainly check that out. Um, my website is www.livefreemoneycoach.com. Uh, my email is nancy at livefreemoneycoach.com. And then you can also call me too on the phone. I have it at 610-314-7293 All right. um, to be able to make an appointment with me. And on Facebook and on Instagram and on LinkedIn, Nancy, nancy Hornbeck. Hornbeck. Well, thank you, my friend. Oh, I love spending I love this time friend. with you. Aww. And we'll see you soon.